Do we have some water? Oh, oh excuse sorry. me. I'm ready the video. No, not at all. Okay. You are the video. Got some I tap the water there. It's just tap water. This is just tap water. And we use it in this case as the material to condense the oil, and the oil will float up on top of it. We put two liters of water in there, <clears throat> and there's nothing special about it other than that we've been taking the water on and off in this bottle, <coughs> drain it off when it's done. <coughs> so there's two spigots on this side. One will drain off the fuel, this one, and the other will, we can take the water off. Very simple. Does it alter the chemistry of the water at all, like the test of the water after the process? Well, we try to retain the water, but um, yeah, there's a little bit of petroleum material in that. Can we use that same water again for the next process? <laughs> Don't hesitate to step in front of me. Go right ahead. <laughs> huh? What's that? What's that? that too, right here. Why I kind of moved over here because the light. Yeah. Is well, very, very simply, you see these tubes here. This tube is well, the water will fill up to that tube, just up to the almost the tip, and then the oil will float above it, and then the oil will drop down into this uh, into that pipe, and it will What's be swimming. What's the process that changes the composition? It's a combination. Yes. Okay. It's pyrolysis and there's heat and there's pressure. Sorry, I'm And it goes, I'm, it liquefies. Like the okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know this All is right, not so, even no, no. skimming. You had that, that question <laughs> happened a few answer. minutes ago. But uh, okay. basically, what happens is we heat the plastic, we liquefy it, it is under pressure, it's gasified, and then it's recondensed or, as they say, cracked okay. down into petroleum. Is there any byproduct besides the water and the... the I think I, I'm having days wait. over. No, oh, I sorry! Can't, can't Shit! Get... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 I'm kidding. The, uh, the byproducts are the following. There's a little bit of carbon ash that's left uh, from the materials that are put in this. And depending on if it's not pure plastic, you may get a little bit more. There's an off gas, which is a pyrite gas that uh, basically gets converted by sort of like a catalytic converter device here into a small amount of CO2 and water, sort of like your car engine, but we're not burning it's things under compression. Water, so I'm drink some water. Okay. So, um, and then there's a petroleum product. So we, and we use plastics that generally don't generate volatile organics and things like that, like PVC. So. Oh, it's still splashing. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to take it down. No, it's fine. That's okay. So, we need some power. Oh, back there. Unplug the... Refrigerator on here. Is there a separate line that we can pull on? Because this thing clips on it. Like that. Yeah. The lawyer, the lawyer, what's over here? There's a refrigerator. Freezer. Yeah, do we have a separate, separate? I'm sure. Are you sure? We're going to do the whole. Well, when this is running, each one has to power the existing clips on. It might get the circuit. He said unplug it. Yeah, you can unplug it. Yeah, unplug it. Yeah, I don't want to destroy it. Whatever's in the freezer. It's still going to draw on the same screen. I know. Okay. So, power switches. All right. So, we have four languages. Only. Only one or two which I can actually read, so we'll go with the English today. And we select the English, touch the screen, and we proceed. Go slow. So basically this is a temperature setup menu, and there's two heating zones on the machine. There's a lower zone, and then there's an upper zone. And we generally will set the upper zone a little bit less because it's already gasified, and it's flowing through there. Most of the plastics in here, the higher temperature ones, uh, 
need about 420, 400 and maybe 30 degrees Celsius to, uh, to liquefy and gasify. Some of the other plastics probably a lower temperature, but that's why we're set at 420 right now. The bottom unit is an off-gas filter setting, and um, the right side are sort of cutoff alarms, so thresholds if those are those are set for safety reasons. And if the unit gets too hot or through any sequence, it'll it'll shut down an alarm, and then we restart it. Um, this is an off-gas filter setting. You notice green; it's on. That's the one we generally use. Yeah. And then we take it to the next stage, and it will take a. It will ask us to verify settings here after I get the. So a little bit of Japanese humor. The female here asked me to touch her, so I do that. It asks me to check things like cover for safety, and I say yes. I check the cover, and is the water level set? Yes. And then did I turn the off gas filter on? Yes. And now. It's in a mode where it's ready to start, and we just go in and commence. And right here you will see the kettle portion start to heat up as these temperatures will start to rise in the next couple of minutes and should reach this 400 degree range. And then this um, graphic here will indicate when oil is being produced. And then this here, the off-gas filter reads off because the sensor is showing that no off-gas is coming off yet. In a few minutes we can wait, but we'll start to see some bubbles come out here and then oil will start to slowly uh, accumulate on the top surface and we'll continue over the next several hours. It takes a few minutes, so be patient. You might want to switch the video off for a little bit. <laughs>